questions for you. Wow, excellent. Maybe six. Ooh. Just to have an advice. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm really curious about what comes into your mind. A lot of stuff. Yeah. What, can, <laughs> what comes into your, to your mind? The first thing, why organic farming? Why, why building school? Well, so I'm sort of guessing that why the two going together? Why organic farming and why the school? Well, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. And what tends to happen with traditional education is that basically traditional education is detached from real life experiences. Now, when you have an organic farm and it's functioning and it's producing things and it has to produce things. So, for example, if you don't look after the crops, they die. Then you have to be very focused. So if you have students running those projects on the farm, they're real projects. So what that allows people to do is have real experience. They're not learning out of a book. And most learning, unfortunately, over the last God knows how many years, has been book learning. And the real learning comes when you leave school. <laughs> you got your degree and then you leave school and then somebody pays you nothing because you haven't actually learned anything. And then you have to start learning. They pay you nothing because you know nothing. You have to start learning. That's crazy. You spent four years learning a so-called degree. Why have you done that? Really, when you're learning, you should be able to have information that will be useful to an employer, and useful in your own business if you're going to go into business. Just really useful. <laughs> and to me, I scratch my head because the... Only thing that has really benefited in my life when I've learned stuff is stuff that I need to use to solve a problem. Either create a business or to, you know, to get a job or to do a contract or to build this project. I, I was the designer of this cobo here. Nobody taught me how to do engineering. Nobody taught me how to make sure that the levels are right. How did I do that? Well, it was a project. And because it's here on the farm, it's a real project. And if I fail, nobody's going to get upset. So that's why organic farming, because it's a real project. There's real outcomes to be needed to be done, so you have to be focused. But it's like you're learning at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what is, what, what, how can you differentiate it? I mean, why school? Why not other industries? I mean, why not engineering, as why, you said? Why am I going into education? Because it's my heart. It's my heart. It's my passion. I'm always, I've always been focused on education, always been deeply moved by educating myself. I came from a background that was not the best background. I didn't have the best education or the best start in life. I came from a problem family and I've had to develop and re-engineer myself. I have had to educate myself. I left school at 16 and I got a job. And then I've just worked and worked and been focused. So I've always been focused on my own education. So what I've learned is real stuff, not any head stuff. I've had head stuff, I've read books, I've done a lot of everything, but then I've had to put it into practice. So my very first business, I didn't know how to run a business. I've created over nine businesses of which seven have been fully fledged business with, 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 um, with employees and everything. The other one were prototype businesses. And, um, I didn't know how to do all that, so I've had to learn, so it's, I've had a passion for education and now, I've done many years of, of business, I want to translate that into something that will help other people. And not only that, we have a lot of problems right now in the world, in the Philippines, for example, farming is a problem, 40% of the food is imported into the Philippines. So one of the other reasons why we're organic farming is to teach younger people the blessings of farming. Not the benefits, the blessings. When you plant plants and they grow, you feel so amazing. And it's just incredible the feeling you get from just being close to nature and reconnected with nature. So I want to bring that passion that I've had all my life to support younger people, to solve problems for themselves and for the Philippines with the food, number one. Globally, we have a massive problem. We're coming to this cliff as a human race, and we're about to fall over it. Some of the human race is already falling over it. Right now with coronavirus, you can see the whole world falling apart in many places, especially in America. 
That's crazy. We're an advanced civilization. And yet we fall apart when there's a slight little problem. And the environment is falling apart now. So the environment is our biggest, biggest challenge right now. We don't look after our environment. So I want to bring people's focus in businesses so that they're creating great things for themselves, but they're not destroying the environment at the same time. I'm passionate about the planet we live on. I live here on an incredible space, but very few people have that experience. And I'm blessed to live in this space and to be able to create this space and to be share it in the future. But if we don't fix the environment, if we don't take care of it, then what is left? What's the point of having a lot of money and a lot of wealth and a lot of everything? Big fridge, big car, big everything. What? Why? We're going to be dead and extinct. So you can see that education to me is it's a lot more than just some pretty ideas. It's the core of who I am from where I've come from. And I see there's a lot of problems. And I feel at my age, I've just got enough knowledge to be able to start chipping away at some of those problems. UBLA, I feel, is a good solution for that. Wow. So, just to confirm, you are building a school, right? We're building a university. Yeah. We're building a university. University. But we have to start somewhere, so we're going to start with a school. Mm -hmm. And basically, UBLA is about creating a university for business. But that might take 20 years, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because that's not what's important. What's important is that we know where we're going. That's our vision, that's our focus. And the journey along the way will be a winding journey like going up a mountain. It'll be a lot of fun. And I will evolve as a person. I'll be a completely different person. If you're still wanting to be part of whatever is going on here, you will evolve as a person. All our students will evolve. Amazing things will happen. And that's the beauty of starting as a plant, as a seed. That's what I've learned here. You see a seed, you plant it in the ground, it might not come up for three months. You go, please grow, please grow, 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 grow doesn't grow then boom it comes up then very small and you go, oh I water it look after it oh it's growing it's growing growing oh and then from here to here is like, oh what happened oh. that's two days three days like, oh. that is nature and that is also a project like this start small slow slow everything's under the ground you can't see it and then boom out it comes and then boom oh ow who put that post there me <laughs> then boom then you've got something incredible. And that is the power of vision. And I see that, I created that. And then I pass that on to other people in the project. And I bring that alive with everybody. That's my job now. I'm, you know, the director, the visionary director. That's my job to bring the vision and keep it alive and grow it and bring it alive in people's minds mm -hmm. so that it will become what I originally perceived. Have you ever think of quitting to fulfill this school building? Quitting? Yeah, quitting. Um, great question, no. Have I had a lot of problems? Yes. yes. Have I struggled? Yes. We started this project on the 10th of January. And as you know, February, coronavirus, <laughs> March, April, May, it's like, ah! So the whole world has gone to pot in the last few months. So in terms of our vision and our focus and our pathway and my plans, oh my mm -hmm. goodness. So quitting, no, because the reason why is that I committed to this project and I took time to make that commitment because it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to create a university. It's a, it's a pretty serious commitment. I'm going to commit 20 to 30 years of my life. That is not an overnight decision. You know, it could take longer, but I know I'm going to be happy involved in this project at least for 10 years actively, 20 years, you know, whatever, and 30 years still be connected to as it's growing, I know I have to do that. So in terms of quitting, no, it's about the commitment. Once I made the commitment, it took me a long time. It took me one month. But once I've committed, that's it. I've made my decision. That's my life. That's what I'm doing. I don't stop until I've achieved that goal because that's what I'm doing. What else am I going to do? I'm 54 years old now. What do I do? Sit here and smoke pot. <laughs> no, I don't smoke pot, by the way. Sit here and so pretend to smoke pot. <laughs> you know, what do I do? sit here and pull my plans. I have an imaginative mind. I'm creative. I want to do something. And I see there's real problems on this planet. And I want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. I want to be an active part. When I die, I want to know I've done the best I can. So giving up is not an option. Failure is not an option because I've committed to it. So no matter what my journey is from now on, that is my journey. I'm just going to do it no matter what, because 
It's what I've decided. Yeah. So, um, may I ask, may I ask something out of the box? I mean, Ooh, go on, something go on. Do personal. It, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> so, at your age. My age. Yeah, I'm yeah. very young, I know. <laughs> so, at your age, do you cheat yourself or do you call yourself? I mean, do you find yourself successful? Mm, successful. Um, success is a very interesting word and it's a bastardized word. I use that word and strongly use it because it's, it's in people's minds, they've cluttered everything up around success. And right now, how many fingers do I have? Five. How many hands, do, how many hands do I have? Two. How many heads do I have? One. Two ears. <laughs> Two eyes. One, one nose. nose. Yeah. One body. Functioning brain. You know, still got my sense of humor. So I'm successful just by being alive. Just by being here right now, I'm successful. My life is a success. It was successful the day I was born. The very second I was born, it was a success. So the rest of my life is really about creating a bigger life for myself. Not for somebody else, mm -hmm. but my sense of, of who I am of just feeling great about my life. That's what I mean by a bigger life for myself. Not to show my life to the world, not to show up. Just, I feel proud that I've grown up and I've evolved and I feel good about my life. And I, I'm happy, I'm deeply happy. And <laughs> that's success wow. to me. Now, are you asking, will, do I have a lot of money? I've had a lot of money in the past. <laughs> money is not a sign of success. If you're asking that question, which I don't think you are, money is not a sign of success. Sometimes, you know, money is a, is a strange game. I've had a lot of money. I've lost millions of uh, dollars. I've created millions of dollars. I've, I've had a lot of money. It's come and it's gone. It's like, yeah. But um, I haven't been ever as happy as what I am right now in my life. And if I want to create more money, I know how to create money. Yes, and money is not a problem. Not if you know how to create it. <laughs> I know how to create it. I know how to attract wealth. I know how to attract people. I know how to, to create ideas. I know how to ground my ideas into physical reality. That's why I've created so many businesses. I've learned the hard way. So money comes through value. It comes through the application of self in motion. So it's like a vehicle. And the money just gets keeps thrown in the bags at the back as the vehicle goes and just keeps throwing the money in as long as you deliver value yes, really? to other people. Give yeah. other people what they want and they will give you money. <laughs> yes, and we really, we really need to discern what is the really important, the money or the thing. Yeah, what is yeah. success, what is money and mm -hmm. so many people chase money and it's not a big deal to chase it because it's, it's a good <laughs> thing but when it's not who we are, it's better to chase who we are and find out who we really are. That's the bigger thing to chase. And the money will come. Believe me, the money comes and it comes so fast. Ooh, does it come fast? I've been shocked in the past. When I've been myself and been focused, money comes. Mm. Huge way. Oh, where did that come from? Oh, so much money now. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. So, how will you know if you are on the right track? I mean, you are on the right path. Yeah. How will you know? How do you know it feels right? Are you Considering asking for yourself? That, yeah. yeah. Go on, carry on. I mean, I'm asking an advice from you. I mean, mm. as, mm. as, as I'm just like this age, mm -hmm. um, how do I know if I'm in the correct track? I it am feels the right good. Track. Feels good. Wow, I'm just amazed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So, an advice for... There's, there's nothing complicated about that. What is complicated is just staying feeling good in everything you do. And when you don't feel good, you know you're on the wrong track. You've done something wrong, you've taken a turn off somewhere, or you've stopped at a station too long, or you've, you've done something that doesn't make you feel good. And then you know, you just correct it. Well, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we cry today? <laughs> Did you bring tissues to this interview? <laughs> Um, Alright, so for the benefit of everyone, mm -hmm. I mean, what will you advise to those who are just starting to pursue a business profession and what are the characteristics 
that they must possess in order for them to achieve what they want. Do we have another two hours? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to keep this one simple. Yeah, sure. And basically, if you watch some of her videos on, on YouTube, mm -hmm. then this will answer a lot of these questions. And one of the key ones is her first one is about vision. Because you've got to be able to see what you want. When I created this Kobo here, I didn't know what I wanted. So I created a, an image in my mind and then I decided that, that looks good, I thought it was good, then I use my feelings. Do I feel good about that? Does it feel good? So I've created an idea, I put it into my feelings, oh, it feels good. What about this location? That's a good location, does it feel good? It feels good. Right, now what's it gonna look like? How's it gonna be used? How will people do things? I'm asking questions, I'm asking better questions. So I'm following my own advice, which if you, if you watch the videos from number one all the way through, that's exactly process to follow and even though sometimes I talk high level it's all about those simple things doing stuff that feels good having clear vision and creating plans and then work the plan so have the vision have clarity make sure it feels correct and then work the plan and then keep reviewing keep seeing the vision because the vision will open up to you sometimes it's not a massive big picture that sometimes people get I get big pictures because I've been doing it for a long time. And I see incredible views, but not everybody gets that. Sometimes it can be quite small, but as you get rolling and going, and it feels right, you're following that feeling, your vision will open up and you're like, wow. And then you just create the plan, work the plan and update the plan. And you just keep going. The number one reason why people fail is this stuff. That's it. And they don't realize that if you want to achieve something that you've not done before, you have to become a different person. If you could do it, you wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> if I was here, then, you know, and I wanted to be here. If I was already here, then I wouldn't want to be here. I'm already here, you know, it's like crazy. If I'm here and I want to be here, I've not done it before. So that means I don't have the skills, I don't have the knowledge, I don't have the abilities to be here, because I'd be there if I was to be there, if you know what I mean. So it's about just keep going, keep evolving. Take a step up, take a step forward, take a big breath. Oh. <gasps> Remove that pulse, <laughs> boink. Take a step up, step forward, take a big breath. I won't hit my head this time because I'm learning. <laughs> so learn as you go and keep on going. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really interesting. Mm. Thank you for, for letting us hear that. Well, thank Very you. Good. Thank yeah. you for your time today and thank you for, for, for instigating this interview yeah but yeah. last thing please oh there's one more thank you thank you so much for this shirt oh yes can wonderful. you can you simplify to us what's what's the the really mean what it really means the business is the difference business is the difference Ooh, we need another two hours <laughs> this is another interview i'll try to keep it short yeah business is the difference it. well basically there's a lot of people on this planet now with a growing mindset that business is bad especially big business, and yet they've got a job, and yet they go and get a job somewhere, and oh, this business is running those things. And somehow, people tend to forget that business drives every single thing on this planet. There's nothing that is not run by business. Government is paid for by business. Mm -hmm. Spaceships going to space is paid for by business. Everything is driven by businesses. So it's the difference when we make it the difference. And we understand that business is a tool, just like a hammer or a saw, and you can use it in whichever way you want. I choose to use business now to solve global problems, local problems, and to make myself have a lot of fun. So it's the difference in my life. It's the difference in everybody's life. And as long as we remember that, it's the biggest giver on this planet, is business. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Your business is the difference, guys! <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Can you, please, can you please complete the statement? I am David Anthony and I can... I can? I am David Anthony and I can... Feel the statement? Oh! <laughs> I can drink water now because I'm very hot. <laughs> Thank you.
Subscribe, hit the like button. We're going to keep producing these videos as long as you keep watching them. <laughs> we'll catch you very soon. My name is David Anthony. Thank you.